Welcome back to Good Day. I am here with Mark Costello from Theatre Albany and Sky Martin from the Albany Sertoma Club. And we're learning all about the Looping Project. It's a really neat system put in place just this past Christmas at Theatre Albany. And uh, Sky, would you mind describing for us what the Looping System is? Uh, looping is a, not a new technology. It's been in Europe for many, many years. But the Albany Sertoma Club, whose main uh, thrust is in the area of speech and hearing, install the looping, which is basically a wire that runs around the perimeter of the building that sends a signal to people who have hearing aids. They turn the hearing aid to the T-coil and the, the, the uh, microphones that are on the stage go directly into their ear, just like they were listening to it directly from the, from the stage. So wireless, sort of like, for lack of better description, Bluetooth-ish, kind of coming straight sure. to your ear. Sure. Right? That's a, it's just amazing, and I'm surprised that this hasn't come to the U.S. quicker because I'm sure it's received such a, a round of applause for the theater because uh, it would help out so many people. Well, it, again, it's still fairly new. We, uh, we installed it in the middle of our Christmas show uh, between the weekends, so we only had really one weekend to get it going, but uh, with the show that's opening this weekend, it'll be a far-ranging effect uh, on our sure. audiences, especially our Sunday afternoon audiences because that depends... And it's always our senior citizens, so it really helps them. Good. And now, being able to implement this looping project, what are your hopes for the future with this? Well, we had uh, hoped to do some other buildings. For, for instance, the municipal auditorium. We, we have talked with the architect on the new air, airport terminal about possibility in, of installing some looping there. Uh, these projects get to be quite expensive, mm -hmm. so fundraising is an effort you know, that we'll have to, to try to do the at least do the airport, or at least do one section of the airport for, for announcements and things for people who have hearing difficulties. Okay, so not only does it send the signal to the T-coil, but you also have headphones available. There are headphones available for people who don't have a hearing aid, but have a hearing difficulty, and that will send the signal to them. There are earphones they can put on and, and hear better. Well, this is just such great news, and when we come back, we're going to be learning more about the upcoming show where you can put that T-coil and the headphones into practice at Theater Albany. It's called Frankie Getting Married. We're going to learn about it when we come right back over. Welcome back to Good Day on this Wednesday morning. I'm back with Mark Costello from Theater Albany and Skylar Martin, Martin from the Albany Sertoma Club. And we've been learning all about this new system they've put into place at Theater Albany called the Looping Project. And real quick, can you tell us exactly what Sertoma Club is and what you guys are involved in? Sertoma is an acronym for Service to Mankind. And the international sponsorship of Sertoma is speech and hearing. But our clubs in various communities do lots of things in their community for the same need. Wonderful. And you guys do have a new show coming up, mm -hmm. Getting Frankie Married, right. where people will be able to use this looping project. So mm -hmm. they'll, it's, you know, inviting a whole new audience in. Are you excited about that? Oh, very much so. Uh, you know, for years we've had uh, people who have had hearing problems, you know, they, of course they'll come in and say, well, I can't hear the actors mm -hmm. or something like that. And then, well, if they have a, a slightly hearing impaired, you know, we do have microphones on stage and we have a sound system. But sometimes you still lose. When you're in a cavernous theater like that, you're always going to lose something. The size of the audience also changes the dynamics of the sound and so forth. So we're looking forward to it with this show. Sure. And tell us about the new show. The show is called Getting Frankie Married and Afterwards. Okay. And it takes place in Texas, and it's written by Horton Foote. Now, he's not a household name, but uh, you may know some of the movies he wrote for. He won an Academy Award for To Kill a Mockingbird, his screenplay, oh. and Tender Mercies. He uh, won an Academy Award for that, and he also won a Pulitzer Prize. Uh, it, so it, it revolves around uh, Fred, who uh, lives at home and takes care of his mother, but he's been dating Frankie for about 25 years. And so, you know, it's kind of a little bit of talk in town, and he finally does propose to her, and so she's kind of taken aback by all of a sudden this thing. Well, come to find out there's a young lady in Houston who is, says that he had promised to marry her, oh, and no. she's suing him for breach of promise. Oh no! So this kind of <laughs> precipitates, yeah, precipitates the drama, and and and, and I, you know, you use the word drama. I mean, it's not heavy, and, and you know, you're not going to kill yourself or anything. Sure. But but it's about people. Horton Foote is, writes about uh, the simple folks. He grew up in Texas, and and a lot of his characters are based on uh, people in situations he he knew in uh, Wharton, Texas, which is uh, sort of southwest of Houston. And of course, all the plays take place in a town similar to that, and it's, he calls it a Harrison, Texas. 
So it's a, it's a wonderful show, and, and it also, uh, he puts forth uh, one of his themes is the dignity of people to, to, to withstand anything that's thrown at them, and he always, he always stresses that. So a lot of good elements there that yeah. you can learn from, and if you would like to know more about the dates and times and how to get tickets, you can go to theateralbany.com. Again, Mark Costello and Skylar Martin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Appreciate and it. And we're handing on over.